So do you need to be a great player or have been a great player yourself to be a basketball coach or skills trainer? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. My name is Nick Aldiro. I'm a client success, success coach, <laughs> success coach with Make Money Coaching Sports, where we help coaches grow their business to six figures plus per year, um, help more kids um, and live their dream of helping others in the sport that they absolutely love to coach. Um, so if you're looking to connect after this, you can text me at the number behind me, 732-908-2315. Text me the word grow, or you can schedule a call on the calendar below. So do you need to be a great basketball player yourself or have had a great career to be a basketball skills trainer or coach? Uh, the answer to that, if you, you know, you could probably stop watching this video right now if you want to, is, is no, you don't. And, and the reason for that is you could be a great player. Let's talk about, like, let's say Allen Iverson. Do you think Allen Iverson could teach other people what he could do? Most likely not. Uh, could J.R. Smith teach his abilities to somebody else? Um, and there's, I'm just picking names out that I don't think would be a great coach. But, I mean, I, I could be wrong. But if I had to guess, I would say certain players that are really, really good, and I've come across them at you know the college level and, and just meeting other people. Um, just because you're the best player doesn't mean you're the best coach. And you don't have to have been the best player on your team to be a good coach. A great coach or trainer studies the game, right? They are a great communicator. Um, they're able to talk about what people do who are very, very good at the game. So they might be able to show you a video and point out these little details. Let's say they have a Kyrie Irving video and they might be able to show a player, Hey, look the way he turns his foot this way. Look at the position of his shoulders, right? He doesn't have to be like Kyrie himself. As long as he can explain to his player, the person he's working with, um, how he can, he or she can improve. Now, does it, does it give you a little bit more validity at first if you're good yourself? It could help, right, at first. Because some people are kind of, I don't want to say ignorant to, to this fact, but like some people think, oh, well, like, like where did you play and how many points did you score? And think, like it doesn't necessarily matter. Well, it, does, it doesn't matter. What matters is, can you help other people get better, right? Your playing career doesn't really have to do with that. Does it look better at first? Probably. But if you are only relying on, hey, I played division one and I scored this many points and you should come train with me. Like if I'm looking for a coach or a trainer, I am not, um, if somebody is leading with that, that's not a good sign. Because what they're saying is, look at what I did, not how I can help your kid. Just because you played at a certain level doesn't mean you can help that child get to that level. Unless you're a good teacher, you communicate really well, um, you study the game, right? You're analytical, you break things down, you teach in detail. Like, being good, physically talented, doesn't translate most even most times it doesn't even translate most times um, a lot of times it's the player on the team who had to who play, when they played had to be a little bit more crafty because they weren't as athletic or as talented right now that being said is somebody going to respect you if you literally like dribble and you smack the ball like a like a six-year-old probably not right of course there's some level of like Hey, dude, are you like a complete like spaz when you uh, you can't literally can't even like walk and chew gum here? Well, I mean, and I'm not talking about people with um, disabilities, of course, because um, you could be somebody with a disability and still be a, a great coach. You just have to you might just have to show somebody else doing it or mimic the actions slow with no ball. Right. You don't have to be a great player. Um that's only that only helps like your playing resume when people like first 
like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to play with – I'm going to train with so-and-so. He was in the, the G League, right? But then if you train with the person, you're like, this guy, it's not a great coach. Like, talks about himself and how, what he used to do. I'm like, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything for you. It's not about coach. It's about how can coach help you. And if he can't articulate and explain and communicate effectively – it doesn't really matter that he played at UCLA and went to the G League and went to the – like, um, can you be at that high level of player and still be a great communicator? Of course, that's like – that's only like icing on the cake. That's like extra. It's cool. It's great. But it's like – doesn't have to do with the kid, right? Everything is about the kid. Can you make the kid better? That's it. That's what people care about. So I know this video is longer than it has to be, but – if you're looking to grow your business, like, and I'm not talking about like, hey, I want to make some extra money as a side hustle. Like, I'm not talking to, I'm not talking to those people. I'm talking to people like, hey, I want to quit my job because I love coaching basketball so much and I want to do this full time. I'm talking to that person, right? If that's you, text me the word grow to 732-908-2315. If you are looking to start or grow, quit your job, earn a full time income, right? Six figures a year coaching basketball because it is possible we have a lot of people doing it in our accelerator program um text me that word grow my number is on the uh the board behind me um you can also schedule a call and in the description you can click a link that says how do we help players or how do we help coaches and it'll show you exactly what we do in our program um if you're looking for that extra help and you're a serious coach and you have a business okay i'll see you next video